What's going on guys? G2 here. Welcome back to the channel. And just got back from the range. It was a good day of shooting today. The weather was beautiful. The bullets were flying. The paper was shredding. A lot of fun. Now we get to the uh, part of owning a gun and that's cleaning it. Now while I will admit there are times where I absolutely love to clean my gun. Like it is therapeutic, I get in the zone, I'll just knock, you know, seven, eight, nine in a row. There are times when I'm just like not feeling it, okay? And today's one of those days. While a lot of you are seasoned firearm owners, you know how to clean your gun, you know what to use, you know all of that stuff, there are a lot of new gun owners on this channel. And this video will hopefully show you some easy ways to clean your firearm in between your deep cleans. Now, some of you grizzled veterans may not get a lot out of this, but stick around because you may find out or see something that you didn't know before. So before we get into it, and I take a minute to uh, clean up my table, it looks like brown owls threw up on my table here. Take a minute hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're alerted every time I drop new content. Okay, so as I do before all my videos, my guns are checked and cleared for safety, but we're gonna do that on video as well. No magazine. Nothing in the chamber. Visually inspect the chamber. We're good. Here we go. No magazine. Nothing in the chamber. Visually inspect. We're good. Okay, both guns are clear. Now a lot of you are going to go right to your good old brush and jag kit. And, you know, you've got all your brushes, your jags, your mops, your cleaning rods, your these things and you're gonna mess with all these little papers there's a much easier way four snakes <clears throat> I know this is like 101 gun cleaning guys there's nothing wrong with having brushes and jags and mops when you want to do a thorough cleaning but in these in-betweens like I just want this clean I know I'm gonna shoot this again you know in a couple days and I know I'm definitely gonna shoot this again in a couple days so I just need a quick maintenance cleaning this is where these come in handy and even if you're doing a deep clean I would suggest using these and throwing away the old uh, well don't throw it away but save it for another time the a uh, the good old hoppies cleaning rod so these come in a variety of calibers, depending on your gun. They're usually a multi-cal snake. So we've got here for our 308 through a 30 cal rifle snake. Uh, we've got here 9mm, 357, 380, and 38. This one here is my 223, 556. Five, and these are, in my opinion, the easiest and the best way to clean your firearms in between. Not only if you didn't want to, you don't have to break your guns down to clean them. Let's grab our nine mil. We're gonna take our snake out and show you what they're all about. So they have a, this is kind of it, close to about five feet long. They have a brass end with a paracord that goes into this fabric material. And then you'll see we have a copper brush embedded or impregnated into our material. And then we have a good amount of material here at the end. So how do you use this? Well, it's really this simple. What I like to do is I will get some gun cleaner and I will spray it, usually from the breech, into the barrel. It's right into the barrel. Spray a little bit in there, let it run down. We're gonna do both of these at the same time. Give this guy a little spray. Let it go down the barrel. Boy, I wish I had a solvent trap right now. Not. Um, 
So that's going to work its way to the end of the barrel onto our cloth here. Now while that's going, we're going to get our boar snake ready. The boar snake, this end is going to go essentially through. You always clean the way that the, the bullet would be exiting the firearm. So the uh, boar snake is going to go through like this. It's going to go in there, it's going to scrub, and then it's going to lubricate. So all we need, we have our cleaning, quote unquote, our, our carbon breaker already in there. So then what you're going to do is on the back end of this, is you're going to add your lubricant. So just grab that, put that on here, get a good amount on this, just like so. We're going to start with the Glock, just feed this through. See it's going to come out the bottom like that. And then we're going to feed the boar snake through. Now right now we have the bristles going through, so that's going to scrub the barrel. And then, once you pull that through, that back part is going to apply the lubricant and mop it up. We can go ahead and do this a couple times. I like to do it three times because I'm OCD. I do everything three times. And that, my friends, if you want to get really, maybe that's not cleaning for you. So grab yourself a cloth, give it a wipe down. Um, I always like to get a little toothbrush with a little bit of this cleaner. And I will scrub right back here. where the round was and just use a little cloth to mop that up and then give the whole thing a little wipe down like so and guys that's how easy and quick it is to clean your rifle or your pistol and for those of you who would argue me and say that it's not clean I just put about 70 rounds through this at the range. The feed ramp is perfectly clean. The barrel, see that? Looks great. And that's all it takes. Yes, if I was gonna do, you know, no, I'm not gonna shoot, if I know I'm not gonna shoot a gun for an extended period of time, sure, I'm gonna do a deeper cleaning on that as well. And that's it, Glock's done. 223, exactly the same principle. Nothing different. We have our stuff in there. Apply our lubricant here. And then as that goes through, it's gonna scrub, it's gonna lubricate, and it's gonna mop it up all in one shot. So, through the breech, get it down. Can get a little tricky. If you got a muzzle brake on there, so just feed it through. You can see sometimes with these muzzle brakes, it wants to not go through all the way, but it'll go through, I promise you. Okay, we got our cord through. Now let's run this bad boy through. <laughs> That's three. Done with this. Get our little cloth here. Wipe down inside. You can see that chamber is still going to be a little dirty. You know, it's not going to totally clean out your chamber as well because you've got um, obviously those little feed ramps and all those things in your chamber, but it's going to get it pretty good enough to wear just sh shove that in there let it mop up some of that solvent pull it out and we give this all a little wipe down and that barrel looks great here we go um, we'll show you from the bottom up okay so there is our chamber looks pretty good 
obviously this is not a deep clean so we're not looking for you know white glove here but look inside the barrel there this one took today I want to say about 20 rounds of wolf being fired suppressed so she was pretty dirty and looking good for all of your new gun owners I would highly invest in boar snakes. They're not expensive. Get one for each caliber that you own. They're gonna run you in the neighborhood of probably nine to $15 at most. And it beats fooling around with all of this stuff when you're in between cleanings. So let me know, comment below and let me know if you're using boar snakes, what do you think of them? Maybe there's something else that you're using, or maybe you don't clean your guns at all. I know people like that too. Nothing wrong with that as long as it shoots. I guess that's all that matters. So until next time, make sure that you're practicing safe weapons handling at all times and treating every weapon as if it was loaded. God bless America. G2 out.